Hello there. I want to show you this. The issue here, the reason I made this IP spy is because I have a lot of devices on my network. I don't know about you. Maybe I'm a freak. But I have over 120 devices on my LAN. And a lot of times it's difficult for me to know what the IP address is of one that I just plugged in. So sometimes I port scan. Sometimes I log into the router and try to look at new ones that have been added. But with this new invention, if you want to call it that, you can figure it out right away. So let's say you have a Raspberry Pi or a video encoder or an IP camera. And in the case of these two, there really is no way, no easy way to get the IP. Like they don't even have a host name that you can look for. Uh, the Pi, you could plug in a monitor and that, you know, I'm sure you could get it there. But let's say you don't want to, you're busy. And there we go, a little late for that. But did you know that with most home LAN systems, you've got your, like your cable box or your internet modem or whatever, and it actually is your DHCP server. And whenever you plug in a device on Wi-Fi or through the LAN cable, you're asking this, please give me an IP address. It handles conflicts, so it won't give out the same one to two people. And it sends out this message, uh, DHCP acknowledgement. And if we're somewhere on the network, or to be sure, in between the two devices, we can, great artwork here, we can actually capture this. And that is what this does. So let's say I want to know what's going on with this Raspberry Pi. And it's on and on the network. I just plug this in, which is running on a battery, in between the two. See, there's two Ethernet ports here. And now, right away, within a few seconds, it renegotiates the IP. And there it is. That is the IP and MAC address of that Raspberry Pi. And uh, that's it. Super simple. So the software is a very short Python script that was written mostly by AI. Uh, never mind that. It's so simple. I mean, I would share it if anyone cared. But And then the inside... This is a Raspberry Pi and a big old battery and a hack job to get the uh, power from the battery into the Pi and a little OLED to show the IP address in Mac. And you're probably thinking, hey, that's not even a Raspberry Pi. It looks too weird. Well, it is. It's just one of the compute module versions. So it's very small. And then you can kind of pick your own carrier board or baseboard, as they call it. And this is the one I'm using. It has two Ethernet ports already in, so I don't have to add one with USB or something. So I can use it as kind of a tiny hub. And here's the case that I 3D printed. And that is it. A very, very simple project, but useful for me. I feel like this should already exist in like a tinier, much nicer package. So let me know if you know of such a thing. Thank you.